WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So yeah, I know brilliant marketing on their part. Let's name these two services the exact same thing. There's not going to be any confusion doing that. <laughs> so anyways, what WordPress.com is, is just a website builder. That's it. That's all it is. What WordPress.org is, is the official website for the free open source content management system that's known as WordPress. Now you can download WordPress right now for free from WordPress.org and then go ahead and install it on your server. But I'm telling you that nobody does that. That was something that people did years and years and years ago. What people do nowadays, is they'll just sign up to and get a shared hosting account with like Bluehost, for example. And then Bluehost has a bunch of like easy installation options to quickly install WordPress with a one click install. And you'll see this from a lot of different web hosts, like one, one click install of WordPress. Because WordPress is so popular nowadays, it's just been streamlined as an installation for different websites. So you can get a installation of WordPress up and running quick and easy. And I have a bunch of tutorials on this channel that show you exactly how to do that. Now, WordPress.com, uh, on the other hand, is a website builder. So they have a bunch of different price plans. So they have a free plan where you can sign up and create a website for free, and it's going to be a subdomain of WordPress. And then they have a bunch of different pricing plans, like their, uh, their premium, and then they have personal. Yeah, that's it, premium and personal. <laughs> and then they have their business. I personally find that their personal and premium plans are way too limiting, primarily because you can't install any WordPress theme you want, and you can't install any plugin that you want. You have to upgrade to their expensive business plan in order to have that specific functionality that you just get when you install WordPress on your own shared hosting account. So you can get a very cheap shared hosting account with like Bluehost, install WordPress for free, and then you have full functionality of your website. You can install any WordPress theme you want. You can install any plugin that you want, and you can design your site however you want. Whereas with WordPress.com, you're just way more limited. And you can't even install any type of theme that you want, like the Divi theme, for example. You can't install it if you have their, their personal plan and their premium plan. You have to upgrade to their very expensive business plan. And that's something for me that's a deal breaker because primarily like I love using Yoast SEO on all my websites and installing breadcrumbs and just like that's how I get my sites to, that's one small aspect of getting my sites to rank to actually get search engine traffic from Google. Uh, and so like with WordPress, like when you have your own shared hosting account, and your own installation, you can just install plugins as you want and whatever plugin that you want and need. So you have more control over like the on-page SEO using Yoast SEO, for example, or you could use rank math, whatever it is you want to do. But like with uh, like the WordPress.com, yeah, you're stuck with their specific themes where you're very limited and then you can't install plugins. So you don't have that much control over the on-page SEO, etc. And so that's the primary difference. So WordPress.com is a great option for personal websites. If you just want to get started, maybe get started for free and then like, you know, create your sites and then maybe set up a custom domain name and it's just like a little side project. But in general, for most people watching this, I definitely recommend getting a shared hosting account with Bluehost, installing WordPress and designing your blog and website that way. And that is the primary difference between these two platforms. All right, everybody. So that is it for this video comparing WordPress.com and WordPress.org. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, there's not too much to talk on this topic. It's very simple, okay? Like one's a website builder. And so like, you're kind of limited with what you can do. Whereas the other way, you have way more control and you can do whatever you want with your own shared hosting accounts. Anyways, guys, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll leave it there. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and bye-bye.